So the overall purpose of occupational therapy is to support people to live their lives to the fullest of their abilities despite any barriers that they might have. So that could be mental health, physical health, learner disability. Just make sure that they're able to do things to the best of their ability. An apprenticeship route is a two-year route as opposed to the three-year traditional academic route. So it's a real opportunity for our existing colleagues to become apprentices to do that over a two-year period. Here at Northumbria, obviously our two-year programme is quite special and quite different because the majority of um, apprenticeships tend to be one day a week for four years. Um, so that ability for our employers of being able to have qualified staff within two years is, um, is something quite different in the area. I've had a previous negative experience with um, doing a degree in the sense that, you know, we would do all of our theory and then just kind of sit on it for months and then go off on placement and it's really difficult, at least for me, to kind of bring that knowledge from the theory into practice. Whereas with the apprenticeship, you know, you're in uni Thursday and Friday and then you're putting that into practice on, you know, your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so it really does solidify that knowledge. So I think that's why I went for the apprenticeship because I knew that it would be like that and that's the way I learn. I have to do things. I can't just sit on some knowledge for five, six months and then do it have to be actively practicing it. The reason I've chosen to do the apprenticeship um, is because it, it works better with how I learn, I'm a, I, will, I learn through doing. I also probably wouldn't be able to afford to go back to university, um, I have a small child and it wouldn't suit my family life at all. I couldn't take a few years out to go back to university, I have to earn money whilst I'm learning. So we kind of work and learn on, on the job. It's a lot more financially viable, particularly as an older student. So, you know, knowing that we're still in paid employment while we're doing this, it's a lot, it's a lot better. But then again, I don't think I'd be doing this if it wasn't an apprenticeship. I've been at university twice before and this is the only one, fingers crossed, um, that's stuck. I loved uni, it was a great experience. Um, you know, I learned a lot, made a lot of friends, but I'm, to being completely honest, I'm in £40,000 worth of debt. <laughs> So obviously the fact that the apprentices here get paid um, to get their degree I think is absolutely amazing opportunity and I think you know I think it's something you just can't turn down I think it's absolutely amazing like you get paid to get a degree where you'll be you know after you've done that two-year course um, you're going to be a qualified occupational therapist it's absolutely amazing opportunity so I mean I don't, obviously I don't have any regrets but if that would be made available to me at the time I definitely would have d done that so I think it's great. I think we're looking for people who are enthusiastic, people who genuinely like working with people, people who can work not only by themselves but as part of a team. I would describe OTs as, as real creative problem solvers. So if you have um, a bit of a talent for investigation, um, a little bit of a talent for looking at things um, in a different way. If you've got a good deal of empathy for people and can kind of take a step in their shoes for a day, then you will make a great OT. So really we want people who want to be an occupational therapist who can really see the added value. I can see that role within somewhere like Home Group that's a bit different from health and social care. So yeah, those are what the attributes we're looking for. So to someone who was thinking of starting a similar apprenticeship or this apprenticeship, I would just say do it. Like go for it. The support that you'll get is fantastic. You know, you're never going to be left kind of to your own devices. There's always going to be that support, even as you progress through the apprenticeship and you gain more and more autonomy as you get towards the end. You know, you're still going to have that support in the background. If someone is thinking about doing the apprenticeship for home group, I would say there's literally nothing stopping you. You're getting paid to learn and get um, a qualification and, and a job that's really fulfilling, really creative. Um, and, and helps people. There's nothing bad that I can say about it, so just do it. <laughs>